Hello everyone, this is Deb, and I am here for hashtag Altered Index 2024. This is week 15, and it is April 16th, which is a Tuesday. The collab is hosted by Nonstop Paper Crafts, so if you're not familiar with her, I will have her link down below, either in the title or the top of the description box or something. So each week she pulls three prompts on Tuesday. One is a color, one is a word, and one is a thing. So this week the color is dark blue. Dark blue. Uh, the thing is lace. And I just opened this. I just, I found this. This apparently I got it, um, Walmart on clearance some time ago. Let's see if it has a date. 8 13 19 I guess is when it went on clearance. So yeah, had it a few years and I thought that would probably go good across the top or I think across the top. But um, the other thing is the word is harmony. And at first I was like, oh, cool. Oh, no. But I was thinking, you know, there is harmony in music, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But there's also harmony in being people living in harmony with each other. And that's how I first envisioned this. Um, this is a definition I printed. There's various definitions off Collins' uh, dictionary page. And it says, if people are living in harmony with each other, they are living together peacefully rather than fighting or arguing. The notion that mankind should dominate nature rather than live in harmony with it. Oh, that's, a, that's an example. Harmony is the pleasant combination of different notes of music played at the same time. Um, and also, I don't know what these uncountable things are. The harmony of something is the way in which the parts, its parts, are contained, combined into a pleasant arrangement. The, the ordered harmony of the universe. So I kind of went both ways. Now what happened is if I just did a, a small Timu haul video, which should be up before this one, and on it is, well, obviously these music notes, but this just came yesterday. So how um, timely is that? And it says the perfect harmony, but also I had in a bin, I had tried to sell this and it didn't sell, here together from Stampin' Up, this whole thing with matching paper and everything um, was all about togetherness and unity and kindness and, you know, being together. So I thought of that. So I think I'm going to just use this one because this to me means like solidarity and unity and being together and you could color them different color skins that was originally what i was thinking about i think i'm just going to leave it black and white and like that and then this dictionary thing i'm debating how to use that yet i am going to stamp all these other stamps i did well let me step back this is the index card um, i use stampin up starry sky and a blending brush and just went over the background and then I went around the edges with and stamped with um, Night of Navy. So Night of Navy, Starry Sky, which is retiring now. Um, but I like both colors. This one's a little bit lighter as you can see, but it's still a dark blue and Night of Navy is like the darkest that I have. I looked at my um, Distress Oxides and the faded jeans was the darkest one I had in blue, but it didn't seem dark enough. So I wanted to do this. And then I went around the edges with Night of Navy with the brush also. So I'm kind of thinking I want this definition to show somehow. So I might have to put it over it. But here's the other thing. Well, before I found the dictionary word, and I might cut that off and opt to put this on. I have couple packs of these which were Dollar Tree look at that and some of them are blue so like there's an a in blue and I could try and go through 
I might still do that because I haven't used these in forever, a long time. So I might go through, I cut this off and use the word harmony. But then I thought, if we're living in harmony, isn't that a peaceful world? And I knew I had some kind of uh, 60s, 70s style. I got them for 49 cents at Tuesday morning. I'm thinking a peace sign or this piece. It's not dark blue. This has some dark blue in it, though. And actually, I was kind of thinking, these are rub-ons. Let me see something. If I can open it. I, I'm not for sure I'm loving that definition thing the way it is. I, I put it to 50% when I, when I, so if I rub that on to over the hands, like, you know, like that, or... couple different peace I was thinking peace signs <laughs> or that I'm kind of liking that one and I could still use this one somewhere too maybe let's see if I put the lace up there the definition is going to get buried I think I'm going to cut the smaller definition out and maybe just have it down here take this put it like this and maybe have the letters for harmony and all those other stickers go in here I think that's how I'm gonna go so let me work on it off off camera and I'll come back and show you the finished thing I don't think you need to see how I glue stuff down oh and also in perfect harmony so I don't really need the other word harmony there and maybe I'll have that on a strip I think going across and actually I think I want to back this with Knight of Navy cardstock um, to make it pop off the background. All right I'll be back. <laughs> okay everyone here's what I came up with. Uh, as I described I had the background I stamped music notes on it I had to add uh, two more here. I put Harmony down the side H-A-R-M-O-N-Y in those uh, sort of boho-y looking stickers. They're like a foam puffy sticker. And I added three flowers over here, which I see I got this one on crooked. And it's not going to move too good now because I glued them down. I, um, on the 50, per no, was it 50%? Yeah, 50% reduced definitions. I just took the first line, if people are living in harmony with each other, they are living together peacefully rather than fighting or arguing. Harmony is the pleasant combination of different notes of music played at the same time. And the harmony of something is the way in which its parts are combined into a pleasant arrangement. I put the one about the people living in harmony rather than peacefully rather than fighting or arguing at the bottom. I wanted it under this. This, um, again, was paper from Stampin' Up! called All Together. It was a special promotion in 2022. I used the Perfect Harmony, um, and I noticed when I stamped it that the M is partly not there. Um, so it's not just the way it printed. It's actually like that when you stamp it. So I did have a navy blue marker, and I just tried to fix it, and actually a little bit of the R. I did use the rub-on with the peace signs in all different colors because I thought that would represent the colors. You know, there's different colors of people. We need to live together in harmony, and that's the hands locking together is what I wanted to show as um, living in harmony as well. And um, these were really gummy. I know the why they were 49 cents, plus I've had them myself for a little while um, and actually there's two peace signs under here that didn't rub off right no matter how hard I tried because it, it was so gummy every time I pulled the thing up they would pull up a little bit so I just covered them with the in perfect harmony and um, the other two definitions I put down the side they're a little bit covered but I tacked this down at the top with um, Fabri-Tac, I see it cut it a little crooked, or maybe that was the end, I don't know. 
I should have moved that over a little bit. Um, I decided to back these. I was going to use navy blue cardstock, but um, I decided to use... Um, I had this boho indigo kit, and I decided to use um, designer paper because it's thinner than the cardstock. And so I did that on both the sentiment and um, this, and it also makes it pop off background a little more, I think. So there's my um, index card for week 15. Now let me get my book. This is the book I'm keeping them in. And this will go, oh, let's write this down. I didn't write it down yet. And today is Tuesday. All right, let me get my pen. All right, so in order, the color was dark blue. The thing is lace. And the word is harmony. So dig through your stash. We'd love to have you join us. And I'm not, I don't really know nonstop paper crafts. I just, um, I think I saw Martha Makes Art doing that. And I thought that's really a cool collab. So this was April 16, 24. And I did it on that day. So I just need a check mark. And on the back of here, which is upside down, it doesn't matter. Um, what have I been, what did I do the last time? Did I do my stamp? Oh, I can't tell. Hang on. One moment. Well, you know what we're going to do? I'll just put, I'm out of room here. Made by Deb Houck. April 16, 2024, and I'm just going to go ahead and write on here, hashtag altered index 2024, and it's hosted by Nonstop Paper Crafts. And I will have the link to that and this hashtag in the title and or description. And the prompts, again, color, dark blue. I think she pulled harmony first and I was like, ooh, okay. Uh, she did music and it's lovely. Um, thing is lace. And the word is harmony. And that gave me a little bit of, uh, I didn't know quite what, but I thought, you know, living in harmony, that's the way to go. So that's what I did. And I hope you enjoyed my card. And I'm just going to put these in the book. I did move these so that they're back to back now because I figured I counted wrong and I'm going to run out of room if I don't. So here's what I've done. This was week 10, 11, 12. Sorry. Back up. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And this is, oh, I should write that on here too. Week 15. Okay. And then we're just going to stick that right in here. Very different than last week's, huh? I like it though. I like blue, but I like the whole concept of that too. And I'm a child of the 60s and 70s, so there you have it. Let's live in perfect harmony. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye for now. Hugs, love, and peace.